There's a couple really awesome tricks to be able to get a ton of money at the beginning of your Starfield playthrough or really at any point in time. And we're going to be going over how to acquire some contraband to make a lot of money early in the game, but also how to properly handle contraband without needing to buy expensive upgrades or do anything crazy. There's actually a little trick we can do to be able to sell contraband without really ever having to worry at all in Starfield. Depending on how lucky you are with this process as well, you could make a ton of money really early in the game. Now, before we go do this, you're going to want to make sure you have some digipicks. If you don't have any digipicks, you can head to Jemison in the Alpha Centauri system, and then you're going to head to New Atlantis. Once you're here at the spaceport, just run down this area right here. We're going to head to the left where the hotel and shopping is, and we're going to head over here to the New Atlantis Mercantile. Well, I guess it's called the Jemison Mercantile. Once you get into the shop, if you go down to Miscellaneous, there will be digipicks here. You can stock up on one or two of them when you have them here, and if you want to buy more, all you need to do is just refresh the shop by waiting 48 hours by sitting down at any bench. Once you've got some digipicks, we're going to head to the Olympus Star System. It's just one jump away from Alpha Centauri. And then inside of the Olympus Star System, we want to go to Nisoy. Once you jump to this planet, you're going to see an abandoned spaceport in front of you. If you hit E, you can target it, and once you get close enough, you can dock. But before you dock, we're going to do two things. We're going to open up our menu, and you're going to make a new save game. And then what you can do is optional. We can open up our settings menu and we can go to gameplay and we can switch the gameplay to very hard. Now, don't worry, you're not going to have to play on very hard. But what this will do is it's going to increase the quality of loot that you'll be able to get from this area. We can switch it once we get inside and I'll explain a little bit more. Once you've selected your difficulty, it is technically an exploit. If you don't want to use exploits, you don't have to. So you don't have to do that whole difficulty thing, but we're going to dock once we have changed the difficulty for this example. Once docked, we can go ahead and board. And once inside, if you decided to do the difficulty swap, you can put it back onto the difficulty you were originally playing on. Now, the way loot works in Starfield is when you load into an area, it basically rolls all of the loot that you're going to get in that area once you zone in. So since we loaded in with very hard difficulty, we'll have very hard difficulty rolls here on all of the items. But once we switch back, we can fight at a lower difficulty. So it's interesting how that works, but this is a zero G environment. There's going to be plenty of enemies here for you to kill. So just kind of make your way through. Make sure you've got some health packs and things like that. Now, there is going to be a named enemy here. And once you find that enemy, you can do a quick save as well. Now, these guys have a higher chance of dropping better loot. So when you encounter one, you can actually do a quick save and you can reload their loot drops and hopefully get better things. But we'll see what we get this first time. This works pretty much anywhere as well. Thank you. All right, what do we get off of your body? All right, nothing too crazy there. Now, once you've dispatched all the enemies from this bar area, we want to go to the left. And we're going to go up to this middle area up here. And there's a couple different things that we want to get. There's some contraband that we can sell for quite a bit of money. And inside this room, if you have digipicks, you'll be able to hack into these various safes. Now, some of these are higher level. I'm only a novice right now, so I can unlock this middle one. Now, if you don't like the loot that you get inside of these safes and you want to try and reroll them, you can always reload the save and go back through. Just loot this area for everything that you can. And then on this computer, we want to access this. And we're going to go to the jackpot combination folder. And we're going to remember this code. You can write it down or take a screenshot or whatever you need to do. Once you have that code, we're going to exit out of here. And then we're going to go back down. And under this safe right here is a little hole that we can get through. We're going to follow this back. And in the back right corner of this room is going to be a chest with the contraband inside of it. This is where we're going to make the majority of our money. Now, we do have to be careful not to get scanned. So pick up all that contraband. Make sure to get the mech components right here. And then you can actually get into the jackpot back end. We need to input that jackpot combination. It's so going to do 12, 19, 36, and 5. And we can pay out the winnings. It's not a ton of money, but it is a nice little addition. Now that we have contraband, we need to get to a place to be able to sell it without being scanned and having it confiscated. You go to land on a planet that is controlled by the United Colonies or the Free Star Collective, you're going to be scanned first and they will confiscate your contraband. Now to be able to sell this contraband, we need to take it to a trade authority vendor. Now there are two nearby that we can go to. We can go back to the Alpha Centauri system 
and go to Jemison, but there's a solid chance we're going to get scanned there because it is controlled by the United Colonies. Or we can go to the nearby Wolf System. Both of these systems have a Trade Authority vendor, but the one at the Wolf System is a little bit easier to get to. Carrying contraband will get easier because you can upgrade your ship with shields so they won't get scanned, and there's all sorts of things you can do. So until we actually get that upgrade, we can't go to Alpha Centauri. We are going to go to the Wolf System. And then inside of here, we want to go to the place called The Den. Now, once you jump here, you're going to see another little station. You can target it with E, and we just need to approach it and dock with the station. Now, once inside The Den, you're going to head straight, and you're going to turn left, and the Trade Authority will be right here. Now, the vendor only has 11,000 credits right now. We got some harvested organs we get to sell. And if your vendor does run out of money, all you need to do is actually just basically sit at any bench and wait 48 hours and they will get all of their money back. Make sure to not only sell all the contraband, but all the items that you looted off the enemies in there as well. So that is essentially it. Anytime you get contraband, you can easily sell it without having to worry about being scanned. You can also re-roll loot and get better loot than what you would typically get with all of these tricks. I really do hope this video helped and got you a nice little boost at the beginning of your Starfield playthrough.